It's a super sophisticated combination laser, computer, and digital camera. Used here in Naugatuck after a baby died in April. And in Plymouth for the suspicious death investigation of a little girl last October. Here in Torrington, it went to work for the murder of a mother in November. And in Bridgeport at a fatal stabbing last December. This is the PS20, uh, the Leica scan station. And it can recreate a scene virtually long after troopers have wrapped up their work on site. State Police Sergeant Mark Davison brought the device to Connecticut's Law Enforcement Memorial at the Police Academy in Meriden to show us how it works. At a crime scene, the laser helps take millions of measurements important to investigators. And the digital camera snaps the scene in panoramic views. It's measuring a million points a second. Uh, it's taken 270 photographs per scan. Um, and all those points are measured relative to each other and to the position of the, of the machine in, in three dimensions. All that information then fed into a computer, which then takes all the data and puts it together in 3D. Investigators can then sit down at the computer and simply by clicking on a mouse, they can move around the crime scene. It's literally stepping right into it and walking through moving yourself around 360 degrees. And if you need to step outside, well, that's a possibility too. You can always step back inside to continue investigating, ultimately seeing the same perspective as the victim, potential witnesses, and even the killer. You're able to put people back in. It takes the questions out of, uh, and it out of you know what that what was what was seen and how it was seen. Ultimately, what we always want to do is to be able to speak for the the victims and for that can't speak for themselves any longer. Using this type of technology can help confirm witness statements. You can actually find them to be credible, and it backs their story up. In terms of our ability to to analyze uh, and answer questions that that come up, uh, that that is a very powerful tool, and it'll be a force multiplier. Jill Kanopka, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.